The people in New Hampshire, uh, as Dr. Chan uh, alluded to, have taken this epidemic incredibly seriously, and we cannot thank them enough. Everyone has played uh, a significant part in flattening the curve and slowing the spread of COVID-19. And unfortunately, while we are not through it yet, um, we, we know we still have a ways to go. Uh, today, we're here to announce our amended stay-at-home order, what we're calling Stay-at-Home 2.0 where we will flex out additional areas across the state, modify our existing order to give Granite Staters more flexibility in their daily lives. Uh, this modified stay-at-home order will be in effect through May 31st, 2020. We all know that you're healthier at home, uh, and that uh, obviously continues to be true, and will be true not just today or next week or next month, but um, you know as we move forward, and, and I think it's one of those um, benefits, if you will, of going through this crisis is the reminders of, of just good personal hygiene, staying at home, social and physical distancing. Uh, some of these are terms, the, the so social distancing, we didn't even really talk about what that was just a few months ago, and now it has become part of our ev everyday nomenclature. Uh, but we are taking also taking steps to reopen our economy in a smart, phased approach that's supported by facts, science, and data. Each of the decisions and the guidance documents that we discuss here today, they've been reviewed by Dr. Chan and the team at New Hampshire's Public Health Department, and obviously we thank them and all those folks behind the scenes uh, for their tireless efforts, a lot of hours uh, behind the scenes to make sure that what we do is safe, smart, and data-driven.